Hey guys, Young Blood with you, and today I wanted to talk about Shadow Play. Um, I had mentioned this in a video uh, last week, I believe. Uh, and basically, what Shadow Play is, is it's a proprietary NVIDIA software built into the GeForce uh, Experience application. Now, what it does is it's a, a game recording software, and it has really two functions. Um, the first of which is shadow mode, which uh, you can set how much time you want to be shadowed. And what that really means is, let's say you don't, you're not really a YouTuber, you're not trying to record a whole bunch of stuff, and you don't have a big hard drive. Uh, basically what this does is you hit a hotkey, um, which is defaulted to uh, Alt F10, and it's going to save whatever amount of time you've set as that shadow window. So let's say you've got an uh, outstanding clip that you want to share with the world. Um, Alt F10 and all of a sudden it's going to uh, save that last uh, 5, 10, whatever, how many ever, uh, whatever time frame you set up. Uh, the other type is just the manual. And I think it's what most of us are kind of used to seeing in uh, game recording software. And it's just... You hit a button to start the recording, and then you hit a button to stop the recording. Um, that's the one I've been using uh, today a little bit, and I've tested it. Um, and what really, what the big deal about Shadowplay is, is it's not using your CPU to render uh, and record and encode all of this stuff. What it's doing is, is it's actually using um, something within your hardware. It's a, uh, it's something that's built in. Uh, to actually encode this. So it's not CPU intensive, which means you're actually going to see very, very minimal changes to your in-game performance. Um, I was a little bit skeptical, but uh, after testing it out, uh, you know, you can see in the lower left-hand corner, I've got my frames per second. This is a 48-on-48 uh, 48 48 fight at uh, the Crown, and honestly, I didn't really drop below 60 frames per second hardly at all. Now, it's not perfect. Uh, you know, kind of what I've noticed is there's some uh, hiccups and glitches and uh, it stutters just a little bit here or there. For the most part, though, it's really, really, really smooth. And I liked the way it, uh, you know, felt when I was recording. Another positive is, you know, I've recently started recording in 1080, but there was no way that I was able to record at 60 frames per second because it was just going to kill my performance. Uh, with this program, I'm actually uh, recording at 60 frames per second at 1080p. Now, I don't know if it's just the fact that I don't normally record at 60 frames or what, but the game footage, when I watch it back, seems almost too fluid. It's like it's blending some things together. I don't know how well that's going to translate to what you're actually watching on YouTube right now, um, but something about it just feels a little bit off. Uh, so I'm going to keep playing with it. It's got very limited settings right now. For example, it only records in-game audio. So, um, you know, communications with my outfit through Mumble uh, is not included. Um, you know, I couldn't do a live commentary with this because it's not going to pick up my microphone. Now, keep in mind, this is just beta, so it is very um, early on, and I think we're going to see probably additional features be released at some point. Um, and I'm personally really excited about it because I like the way it performs. I think it just needs more options available to make it really, really useful. So um, I'll probably do a check-in on this later on after I've played with it some more. Um, I'm probably going to have to do some combination of DX Story at some points and uh, you know Shadow Play at others, just because the performance is significantly different between the two. So uh, that's it for now. If you, I'll put a link in the description to download GeForce Experience. Uh, AMD guys, I'm sorry. I know it's just like PhysX. You don't have access to this. It's just kind of one of those tough luck situations. So. Um, but for those of you that do have NVIDIA cards and are interested in recording, uh, this may be a, a good option for you. So uh, I'll put a link in the description, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care.